are we alone in the universe? People have asked that question for centuries. And more recently, pop culture has produced some pretty imaginative renditions of alien life. Now scientists know a lot more about where and how to look for life elsewhere, and how it might be different from life here on Earth. So we asked some scientists a slightly different question. If there are extraterrestrials out there, what do they look like? The responses ranged from the obvious to the extravagant. Planetary geologist Kathy Thomas Kepperta had a very specific vision of life in a harsh environment like Mars. Here's what she wrote to us. In my humble opinion, a Martian organism would need to meet several structural criteria. Simple construction, a tough outer membrane for protection from the elements, a cellular envelope with multiple layers, one or more flagella to travel from hostile to more suitable environments, and some sort of system that uses Mars' magnetic hotspots to navigate those environments. But life on another planet might not always be obvious. I would suggest that's the most likely form of life anywhere in the universe is unicellular organisms underground. That's planetary scientist Lindy Elkins Tanton. Where on any planet is the temperature most likely to be relatively constant, where water is most likely to be available in liquid form, uh, where, where habitability has the, the longest um, time that, it, that it's likely to be um, constant, and, and I think that it's under the surface. Planetary scientist Dorian Abbott's first guess was microbial. But then he painted a pretty fantastical picture of a planet not unlike Mercury, where a central star's light reaches every part of the planet once a month. Giant fuzzy caterpillars as big as moose with huge elephant noses move around on the ground and they eat up all the yummy green plants that creep across the terminator from the light side of the planet and they suck up all the goodies with their noses. But out of the darkness, wolf bears with saber teeth and giant eyes pounce, tread them up, and eat them. Mineralogist Bob Hazen bets on something smaller in scale. Here's how he responded to our question. My first pass would be a clump of microscopic spheres or rods, so microbes, living on the chemically active surface of an iron or sulfur-bearing mineral. Astrophysicist Heather Knutson looks for biosignatures in the atmospheres of distant exoplanets. Here's what she wrote. When I picture alien life, I usually picture something like a bacterium. Unicellular life. That's really what we're looking for. Astrophysicist Kristen Manu turned to an unlikely source for thoughts on aliens, his three-year-old son. What do you think alien life might look like? Tweet your drawing to hashtag DrawET and check out a special issue of Science News on the search for extraterrestrial life.